with UCC in Lights, Camera, Harmony. We're here at the screening of the Thumbprint. I'm here with world famous, legend, record producer, DJ, entertainer, all of that, Eric B. Uh, Eric B is also one of the uh, ex executive producers of the project. Eric, tell us how you came together with this project. Well, you know, Street Doctor, you know, I guess everybody from the streets, we find ourselves gravitating to each other some kind of way. And Street Doctor is a guy I met through uh, Rockman Muhammad, who I've known for 20 years. He's also deputy mayor of um, New, New Jersey, and they all work together. So we, he talked about, you know, doing his life story. He did a book. It's a great book, a great read. So, you know, this is just a trailer to a bigger movie. Okay, okay. Um, what are your plans for this film? Where are you planning on going with it? Well, this part of the film is just going to be like we're going to take it into the jails, take it into the schools so that the kids get an understanding of how Street Doctor changed his life or turned his life around. But what we're going to do is really work on a big motion picture and deliver it to movie theaters soon. Okay, now I know you did take the film into uh, one, at least one or two jails so far. What was the reception like? Everybody. Everybody that has a heart, you know, it brings tears to your eyes, and tears of joy to see something positive like this happen. Okay. Okay. I, I know also that you're doing some work here in the city of Newark also. Yes. Okay. You're here with the uh, critical response unit. Mm -hmm. We go out with all the different clergy. Mm -hmm. You know, when people get hurt, uh, family members get hurt, we go out and bring a team out, you know, to talk to their families and see how we can get past this moment. Okay, okay. Is there any future projects coming up that you want to talk about? That's a lot, man. So many projects, man. And, you know, mm -hmm. by the grace of God, man, I'm still here. And mm -hmm. we're just having a good time, man. Okay, okay. Having a good time. Any, any messages you want to get before we come? Man, peace and love to all my brothers and sisters. This is in Newark, New Jersey. All right. It's Khalil Masi, UCCN, Lights, Camera, Harmony, Eric B. To go in the business, baby, you need plenty of fun. That's right. Lights, Camera, you know. Harmony, the screening for the public, and I'm standing here with Mrs. Tamika, Tamika Darden Thompson, a.k.a. Mrs. Tamika. Okay. So what shot of that you see? I am the first and only executive secretary of the Street Doctor ever had for his office, for himself, and I'm still here. Thank you. Um, from the first time I met him, we were at 744 Broad Street at the time of office. He came home from there with a dream to help the youth. I prayed on it. I left my job to help him spearhead the street for his for the youth. So, the fruition that came out of that, we had about 20 children from the first class, from some of the fourth life students, from some of the police officers, some have master's degrees, some have a bachelor's degree. So, we planted the seed in the kids' brain. I think that this was excellent. I think this was an excellent way for him to show that you can change, that you don't always have to stay in the rough side of things, but sometimes in a certain case in a situation where you're at, but you don't have to stay there. It's on you. We are the ones that we're waiting for in street doctors, the crime, the example that you can make. Well, after tonight, I'm going to target one of the targeted. We have 600 people show up for this first premiere. We had to get an extra theater opened up because it was a little crowded. I am ecstatic for him. I am more than passionate for him. This is God's work. He is an angel. He is his own right. He is an example for anybody that's born to have him, anybody that's behind bars, anybody that's in the youth department, anybody that's on these streets, anybody that's walking around homeless, anybody that's 
Man, I think it was awesome. It was an incredible story, you know, um, beautiful. I mean, uh, a son of Newark, you know, who come back, you know, from, you know, first once wreaking havoc in the community, but come back to make a tremendous, you know, difference and change not only his personal life, but in, in the lives of others. You know what I mean? It's the kind of story, you know, that needs to be told. You know what I mean? Because it's inspirational. You know what I mean? It can inspire a lot of young people that may be heading in the right, I mean, in the wrong direction and may steer them in the right direction. You know, it can, you know, show the trials and tribulations of a man, you know, that they don't have to go through some of the things, you know what I mean, that he been through for them. So it's like he paid the price and made the sacrifice for him. So it's a good thing, you know, for the for the city of Newark, you know what I mean, and, and it's a good look. You know what I mean? I'm very proud of him, you know what I mean, and I just hope, you know, he can be able to continue to get the support and be able to keep, continue to uh, keep up the good work. Okay. Now you have several connections to this project also, right? You're, you are in the project, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of, um, you know, those protests and those rallies, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was a participant in them, you know what I mean? And, um, I walk in that same light myself, you know what I mean? I can relate to him as much because mm -hmm. our struggles are, are, are very parallel, are similar. Because mm -hmm. exactly. I once came from those type, mm -hmm. same type of struggles mm -hmm. and out here doing the same kind of work, mm -hmm. you know, trying to save our people, trying to steer them in a different direction, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Trying to bring hope, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Bring information and inspiration, you know what I mean? To young people, especially uh, centered around this violence, you know what I mean? Because we see too many of our young brothers, you know what I mean, not only being killed but sent off to prison, you know what I mean, during an extensive amount of time. You know, so it's a battle, it's an uphill battle, it's a struggle that continues, you know what I mean, it's a protracted struggle, you know, that it, it, it's ongoing, it continues. So here today we, we celebrate, but tomorrow our work continues. I, you know, and I know because I, I, uh, I've seen you out there. I know you, you're with the North Anti-Violence yes. Coalition, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm the vice chair of the North Anti-Violence Coalition, mm -hmm. and I'm also the national field marshal for the New Black Panther Party. Okay. So, you know, I've been, you know, in the, in the community for quite some time since mm -hmm. prior to my release. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I took off running, you know what I mean, and, and got straight involved, you know what I mean, with the community, mm -hmm. trying to make that difference mm -hmm. after being a problem to the community. Now, coming out trying to bring some of the solutions. You know what I mean? After once being on that other side, you know, so. How do you think the, uh, the target audience, the young brothers and sisters in the street, are going to take to this project? I think it should be, uh, they should be very uh, re receptive to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I think it could be a, a, a great ray of hope. Meaning that, you know, just because you may get caught up in the system, you know, doesn't mean that it's over for you. Mm -hmm. You can show that he did 17 years in prison. People think, you know, and he was faced with a life sentence. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if, if he can do it, it shows young people that they definitely can do it because I'm pretty sure they probably, you know, have an experience of been through half the things that Earl Best been through mm -hmm. and now they don't have to go through it. Mm -hmm. So they can look at somebody right here from their town to look up to. We don't have to look for fables or stories of, you know, people from outside. We can look right here to our city and see that there's men that been to prison. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Could come home and change your life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, hell, just because you got suspended from school, okay. it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? Just because, you know, you have been in the youth house or the detention center or, you know, been faced whatever you face with, there's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And for them not to give up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? To see that, hey, if this man, like this man showed that through his thumbprint, mm -hmm. through all of our thumbprint, mm -hmm. shows that we are unique mm -hmm. individuals, you know what I mean? And that we are special and that we are of God creation, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we were put here for a reason, true, true. you know what I mean? We just have to find out, you know what I mean, what our purpose is mm -hmm. and fulfill it and not betray it. True. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you, your organization, how can they do that? Well, they can reach me direct, you know what I mean? Um, hell, like I did an article in the Star Ledger about my life. You know, you can. I work on, on a corner of Broad and Bradford Place. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a street vendor. Mm -hmm. And you can reach me at 973-280-8351. Or you can reach me on Facebook, Sharif Malik Amenhotep. Or you can reach me on Instagram, Amenhotep1977.
Any final message you want to say to the... Uh... No, I want to just say peace and black power and continue to hold the line. And like the street doctor said, on the move. All right, all right. And you heard that message there. This is Khalil Masi, UCCN.TV, Lights, Camera, Harmony. Can change our world today. Yeah. Today is a brand new day and we're ready to receive. Hey, yeah. All I'm happy to offer, we can achieve. We're rising up. Keep rising up. A place up in the stars is waiting there for you. Never be